got rid of the body, and we think they're gonna build um, some townhomes on it. So we got to might we might have to move it soon. Okay. Oh shit! Good are move. you recording? Probably good move. Yes. Okay, so let's recording. get back to what we were talking about. I didn't know you did that again, Jake. I oh stink. my god! Uh, <laughs> I was trying to warn you with golf, but I think it was uh, just too late. You said dead body. I don't know what you're you talking about. We can cut that. Implicated ourselves. We'll cut it out to a crime that we did not commit. This is Mm-mm. live. <laughs> this do, is you, live. do you guys low key kind of want? Like you to get framed for like a murder that you didn't do, and then but then they'll they'll make a Netflix documentary Absolutely, out of you. Absolutely, I want that. You want he that? Wants, <laughs> yeah, he would yeah. want that. He would want that. Yeah. yeah. What would he be? Just the notoriety just, just alone. Sick murderer. Oh, what's your serial killer name? He'd be like the he'd be like the yeah. rock star oh, yeah, murderer, the front man murderer. He kills yeah. all the front oh, yeah. mans on his bands. The slithering the, snake pervert. The slithering <laughs> snake pervert. <laughs> The worst part about him is that he's a pervert. Why is it? Doesn't that rhyme? Snake, the rape. Ooh. That <laughs> does not quite rhyme. You have a good true crime voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, you could. What's the matter? Do they have to go outside? For those at home, we have uh, animals on this episode. Yes, animals. This is a special episode featuring Nikki, dogs, and, and cats. animals. Zoe. Oh! <laughs> All right. That was cool. Yeah. That was a good moment. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So golf is happening. The British Open is happening. Tiger Woods sucks ass at golf. Yeah. Well, he doesn't, but today he sucked. He sucked. Yeah. Yes. And it's like, I, I, so, all right. Yo, you think you could take her out? He went. I'll just talk to you. All right. Come he on. went bogey first hole, very first hole of the Open, the British Open, and then double bogey the next hole. So it was yeah. three over through two holes, and then it just he got the six over on the day. I just feel sad because I know he loves yeah. being at St Andrews and in Scotland and at the British right. Open. And uh, what if the entire field like tanks so that he makes the cut? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he shoot like a ten that one hole recently? at the, at the Masters? The Masters yeah, yeah. A, few, yeah, a few years ago. That was, that was over COVID. But it sucks, man, because I always see him as like a golden god and then like he's just yeah. human every other time to- every other Shits hole himself. or like every other yeah. every Balls now and then trips. you'll see like a good shot of like shit he meant to do he had the longest drive today out of anyone huh. see, see how crazy is that see like the guy probably yeah that's insane and then he can like he like out of three guys he'll get close they'll all go like real tight to the pin mm-hmm. but then he'll get closest yeah so he of course he's the goat he has that in him I just get sad when I see him play bad. Right. It does happen. It happens. Well, you know what I heard interesting today during the the, uh, round was that when he had terrible short game, it it wasn't because he had the yips. It was just because of his back. Okay. Like his back was tweaked in such a way that like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's... Back issues are the worst. Right. You can't do anything with a bad back. But, uh, yeah, I watched some of it today. Um, It was fine. I mean, it was cool. The, yeah. The golf course is amazing. Like, it's just... It's cool, dude. It's so, like... It is mysterious, like you like said. the oldest or whatever? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's from 1863. Uh, apparently, I heard... Built. Go ahead. No, that's all I was going to say. It was built in 1863. I heard on, I heard on Instagram Thanks today dress. that there was a burial ground. Did you see that? No. There's Underneath a, of it? There's, like, a burial ground on, like, the 17th or 18th green... That's fine. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. No, it wasn't even on that show. It was just. I like, don't even mind that though. Yeah. Oh, the Jamie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look that up. Uh, burial ground, St. Andrews, or vice versa. If that makes more sense. This is good. We can look up stuff on the fly while we continue to talk. Right. Who was buried there? I don't know. Maybe like old like Tom Morris. Lords. Maybe old Tom Vikings. I didn't know who that guy was till today. Old Tom Morris. Yeah, I was looking it up. Yeah, he's like just the original first people to golf, and they were like, "You're the greatest ever because you know how to do it." He's yeah. like the Godfather. You're doing it, but like, you gotta imagine in the late 1800s, they weren't hitting in the 70s or 60s. They were probably like right. 120s to 130s, but it was such a new sport that everyone was just like, "Wow!" Did you see how far he hit that ball? That went 50 yards, Tom. He got a job. nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so the course is... It was to the point where you can create your own clubs. Must have hit it 50 feet or something. Yeah. 
They wouldn't go feet. Then they shoot the loser. All right, so the 18th Green Burial Ground by... At St. Andrews? Yep. The uh, old course? Old course. So the greens at this course, they, they, they're shared. So number three and number 15 share the same green. Cool. Whoa. So like the back and front run along each other, and that there's only two holes that have their own green. The rest share them with another hole. So like the one guy today had a 135 foot putt. <laughs> That's, That's how big these greens are. And is it illegal to use your wedge on the? No, green? they did it. They can use your wedge. Uh, a couple people did it today. I watched. Yeah, That's fucked. I feel like you can make a divot. It sucks. Feet. No, I I I don't know what would happen if they made a divot, but they're they don't. Make divots when they're chipping. Yeah, I guess not. I guess you can't. Ha- you we would not. We suck. We would. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, I was playing that PGA 2K game, and it was there was a shared green, and I hit a shot so bad, it was an approach shot. It was like my second shot that it went into the other green's hole. Yeah, what it happened went into then? the hole. I, literally my next question. I th- I just think you. I don't know. I can't remember. It was so bizarre. You gotta scoop it out. I think you like. Maybe take a drop behind it or something. I, I honestly don't know, I don't know but it was what bizarre. That rule would be that's yeah, interesting. Is, actually, <laughs> could you imagine? They should, like, well, I guess they can't. You can't. I should like they should <laughs> just can't. like not be penalized for something like that. Maybe, maybe like you just take a free drop. Yeah, yeah. It's a man-made obstacle. It's a man-made obstacle. Well, um, is it part of the course though? There's certain uh, rules like that. Part of the course. Play it as it lies. Oh yeah, true. You gotta. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> uh, if you're playing this, you're hole, fucked. That's a trap. Side story: I played a couple weeks ago um, down near the shore, and it was like oh, quit bragging. Cheap as dirt, like not e- like all the courses that are around, like Ocean City and Seattle are like a hundred dollars or more. Mm. So we drove all the way out to this. Cheap? No, the one oh, we went to, okay. those are expensive ones. The one we went to was like $44. Oh, nice. But it was a dump. Oh, jeez. Like, the second hole, I hit a de- dead center down the fairway, and then I get up to the ball, and it's just in sand. But it's not a sand <laughs> trap. It's just like the ground out there is just all... Sand that's blown in from like, like the... From the bay. From and, the bay. Yeah. It, like, it, gross like, it's sand. Like Beckett. Beckett has like sandy. Beckett, yeah, I haven't fairways. been there forever. Where's Beckett? God, it's in Jersey, yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. I think it had, I think it was like three nine holes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You yeah. play the red course first, and then you yeah. if you want to play the more difficult mm. one, you go to the yellow course. Yeah. They're, those are the courses ran by people that just start like, we still don't know what we're doing. Because they'll be like, we have two nine hole courses. Be like, why don't you just make it an 18 hole course, buddy? Right. Who has a nine? Two, two courses. You just said that place three. had three they, of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why couldn't they say, all right, we have 18 right. and then we have... We have all this extra land. 27 holes. We have an awkward 27 27 holes, holes is a lot of holes. Right. Agreed, Snake? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he totally agrees. <laughs> More this, so than I. This man knows it's holes. It's funny to think of it. Starring Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> he knows holes recently. Ooh, oh, what? man. What? You're talking about his holes? <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. The holes he's been in. Oh. oh gross. Mm, he's a ditch digger, ladies and gentlemen. That's his job. I'm a grave yes. digger, actually. It's grave digger. He, that's what I kind of meant, and I said ditch. <laughs> <laughs> I just dig ditches. There's really no rhyme or reason. Yeah, for some reason, Somebody's they're paying me to do this. They pay me $27 an hour. So, I mean, he's actually, to, I'm going to keep digging them holes. It's to capture the children. That's why. Some he's actually, creepy old man comes behind from a... School bus. Oh, man. You're in the middle of a lawsuit with the grave digger really monster good. truck guy for taking his name yeah. and all the merchandise, and you don't get any of it. Mm. Now, I'm the real grave digger. <laughs> I would hate to be in litigation with grave diggers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not winning that battle. They have great lawyers oh, representing yeah. them. <laughs> monster truck lawyers have to be top <laughs> top notch <laughs> lawyers. They got to be pretty good with like liability insurance. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's a good field to get into if you want to go into law. Be like, I'm gonna represent this guy who drives this giant monster truck, right? Because I know that dude's crashing that thing at some point. Great class, and we're gonna sue the shit out of Monster Energy. (laughs) (laughs) He had too many 
Monsters. No, that was like the sponsor. Yeah. of the truck. They gave him too many for his free sponsorship. Just free, <laughs> and he just he was drank too them all. Up. His heart exploded. <laughs> you can't hand grave digger so, a case of Monster and not expect him to drink that's all a, of them. That's a that's a that's <laughs> a good question. No TikTok, Nikki. You should be monitoring the sound. You're just do, just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us if it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just make sure the ticker time. Watch them go going. up when I speak. Are they all, is mine going up when it speaks? It is, as is Jake's mine. Speak. How is Check. mine? Mine's three. Oh, does mine go up if I talk into it? This is mine, but yes. It's number two. Hey, I got a question. I got a question. What's Do you guys question? drink coffee? Uh, occasionally. Occasionally. Okay. What about you, Jay? Yeah, Snake. a little bit. Sometimes. She'll go on coffee brain binges. Binges? I speak, I speak for her. I'm more of a so you're not everyday man. coffee drinkers? No, she's not every day. But sometimes she'll go like every day for like a week. But I've started to make myself matcha lattes. Oh. Oh, oh. then Ooh. she's... Ooh. I forgot about the matcha lattes. Do you Instagram story them? Because no. you should. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That was a test. You passed. <laughs> but I was asking because there's failed. people that I know, and I drink, I do drink coffee. But like, there's people that'll either drink coffee or they're like big Red Bull people. Right? Are you guys big Red Bull people? Yes. Yes. No, I drink I drink no. a Bang Energy every day. <laughs> really? Yeah. There you go. So he's one of those guys, a Bang Energy every day. You want to hear something interesting about? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Three hundred milligrams of caffeine. <laughs> that works. <laughs> That'll kick in. Yeah, yeah. He usually has to get in a street fight before he gets to work just to <laughs> yeah. get some of that caffeine out. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll do I'll do a monster going into work, and then I'll do a bang at like four in the morning. Well, you got a you got a hey, you got a different you. sketch than the rest of us. Do you know Do you know that the ingredient for Red Bull is taurine? Mm. Sure. Yeah, taurine. Isn't that like in gasoline or something? No, it's, no. it's like ethanol or something. Tonic water. Tonic water? No, taurine is. <laughs> It's, it's one of those beans. Listen, listen. It's <laughs> taurine. In it. Taurine is supposed to be like bull jizz. Oh, uh, okay. I'm calling. Because because look it up. because look it up. Apparently, look it up. there's like there's like a people who would use that and it would give them energy, and hence why mm-hmm. Red Bull, Red Bull, right? Taurine, Taurus. Mm. Apparently, taurine is like I bet it has from something to do with bull, bull, but bull okay. with. Jizz. Bull piss? Here it, we go. Confirming. It's an organic compound that is widely distributed no. in animal tissues. It is a major constituent no, look up of bile. Taurine, Red Bull, Bull. Where does it come out of? Taurine. Like the gallbladder or something? Of a horse? Large yeah. Intestine. Large intestine. So they're killing horses and taking out their intestines. intestines and no, put, and they're putting it, it in your bang energy. No, it, no. I love it's it. a way to go. It's not even their blood. <laughs> it's amino acid. I need blood. What if they had to, like, I kill need it to survive. What if they killed like... It was like one can equals one dead ball. It's just like, it's like there's like such a little amount of it, and it's like such an unnecessary act. It's yeah. just like, we I had like oh five man. red. We, we I had like five Red Bulls today. We killed two hundred billion. <laughs> yeah. Killed, f- drank five Red Bulls. Oh, they just keep raising and breeding these bulls oh. for us to drink them, yeah. just so we can get through our nine to fives. <laughs> yeah. Here's a fact. Uh, it always blows my mind. I probably brought it up before, but um. You know how many chickens are killed each year for food? Some no, let's let's hear it though. It's wild. We are not in, this. No animals were harmed in the making. No, of it, any of this podcast. No. I just engulfed the bird. N- yeah, Nikki. Uh, Nikki technically just ate her cat, but oh, there, there, there he, he is. is. He's alive under her shirt, but not this, in her this stomach. This number is astounding. Nine billion chickens a year. Ooh, well, Jen's gonna love that. <laughs> what a holocaust! Yeah, that's a holocaust. <laughs> Nine billion. We always go uh, down this dark they don't path. Get, the chickens don't get skinny; they they get them fat up, fatter. I can go darker too in this one. In this True. in this part, like, eh, maybe let's shade away from whatever you're about from to the say. The darkness. Yeah. Okay, let's shade away from. The Actually, darkness. I kind of want to hear what you're going to say. Go? Just how it's done. No, I, oh, the chickens? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to hear that. Okay. I'll probably eat chicken like tomorrow. I'm not. I don't want right. that. Right. I'm definitely gonna eat chicken at some point in the All next right, well, three we'll days. Just, we'll bring it up. Then. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Chicken is huge. I'm sorry. I was tempted, but I have chosen goodness. Nine billion chickens. I've chosen goodness. Nine billion. Dudes. That makes me a better person. So now. What's the percentage of what's actually eaten? How much of that? 
How much? Per- what is the percentage of eaten chicken to those that are killed? Like a well, there these like are the ones that are killed. Hundred to one. Or food. Hundred to one. All of it's like wasted. Yeah. Just oh like yeah, a wasted. for sure. Yeah, it's probably good. They have those documentaries that like I refuse to watch. Where like. Yeah, you watch them, you're like, oh, my God, I'm rethinking everything. And then it's, the next day I go to, like, Wendy's and get a it's double changed, cheeseburger. It's changed people's like, lives, I'm just going to continue yeah, my piece really of shit good. life. <laughs> yeah. It's changed people's lives. Well, it lives. has mayonnaise on it. It's fucking delicious. What do you want me to do? I do love mayonnaise. Just, pre- yeah, just pretend it's not really chicken. It's not chicken. It's, just a, it's a sandwich. French fries and mayonnaise? That is such a UK move, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah, UK move. When, I was, when sure. we went to Ireland, Vinegar. we did it. I, which is so weird. I could easily just do that here. <laughs> I only do it in Ireland. <laughs> but they no. But they that's how they they serve French fries with mayonnaise on the side. Yeah, you don't do ketchup. No, no ketchup. ketchup. Mustard yeah. on your French fries. I love ketchup though. No mayo. no mayo. I adore ketchup. I'm a big ketchup guy. I love it. Oh, yeah. You know what I? You know what? Honey I, mustard on. You know what I can't honey stand? Fries. Honey mustard is good. And my dad does it too. He he gives me shit for. Catch up on my hot dogs. So that's a big debate. It's a big debate, and I don't know why. I, mm-hmm. and I it's don't, only a big debate between for those that don't like people that put ketchup on their hot dogs. For people that put ketchup on their hot dogs, we're just like, what's the fucking big deal? And it seems to be like half the population. Wait, but what do you put on it if you don't put ketchup on it? Like mustard or relish or just a bunch of bizarre shit. I, you know what I've been doing lately? I do ketchup and some mustard. I do both. I don't do relish, but I do both of those. And maybe some onions. Onions? No, dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Give me a good old-fashioned ketchup hot dog, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that is, it does come me, off as like... Me and my dad have this theory where outdoor hot dogs taste better than indoor hot dogs. Sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they taste great on a golf course. They taste golf great, course. great on the beach. At a football game, like at a concession stand. Oh, yeah. Not if you eat it fast. <laughs> dude, I remember getting... The best, the best hot dogs were at like football games, the concessions. Yeah, they were like a little soggy to them, but you didn't mind. Wrapped in just like a napkin. Yeah, all just piled in like like a pyramid. A mom, you know, from one of your teammates is handing it to you because yeah. they're working the snack bar. Right, a dollar, a dollar. Yeah, give me a dollar, mom. Can I have a dollar for a hot dog? Fifty cents. You just ate three, Jeffrey. I want another. And I need a hot chocolate too. Yeah, let me wash it down with a hot. Oh Ooh, my god, man, on a nice cold. Can't do that anymore these days because you'd probably be. I mean, no. we'd all probably. I would be in the bathroom the next day with hot chocolate. With all that, just with all that combined, hot just, chocolate and a hot you know dog. Gonna, uh, you know I'm going to be drinking too. So like, it's drop, a weird. Yeah, that's right. dropping a little hot chocolate. You could dip your hot dog in the hot chocolate. You know what's depressing? That's I'm going to get. Stuff. I'm going to get depressing now. Okay. Yes. Please, yeah, go ahead. No, you won't find this depressing. No, Don't usually at the 18 minute mark we do the depressing Nick segments. So go we'll, ahead. we'll never be, <laughs> we'll never be able to experience a. Well, this is free mania. We'll never be able to experience a, a Scullion football night for Holy Cross anymore. Yeah. So we got into this last episode. I don't think anybody cares about our past football background. Right. 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 I totally yeah. agree yeah. that. It's depressing. It's a little sad. Days. It's just like no. It's a tradition that's no longer. Yeah, man. Because I grew up on that shit. Because we're th- we were the thirty. Champs. We were the parade well, of champs. So and they're no more. They're no more. <laughs> they took them away. Because no, no. Ki- kids don't go to Catholic schools anymore. Damn so heathens. They don't have the uh, numbers to put a football team together. Mm. Mm-hmm. So anyway, say whatever you want. They're all probably in the... I mean, you know what? There, there probably will be a Scullion night in the metaverse. I bet you can create that. Uh, dude, you change can, the topic you before can, he gets into the pl- metaverse, you please. You can put on a VR, <laughs> VR headset. Oh, it's so bad. You'll see this. <laughs> yeah, you got to live with that, huh? Uh, I usually can turn it off. Okay. We're, this close, we're this close to getting the... Where do you pull the plug on him? <laughs> he is plugged in, isn't he? No. no, I, no I mean, like, she I lets know. it go, and she doesn't respond to him. I'm really like... Good. Yeah, it's oh, that's good. Disassociating, that's good. Really <laughs> Completely disassociating. <laughs> Going to catatonic state. I get so state. mad. I get so mad. Yeah. No. That's like all relationships, though. Like you know, relationships. just you. One person listens, the other doesn't. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's usually the guy doesn't listen to the girl. 
That is, te- yeah, that's pretty but huge. But, like, Nick is the girl of the relationship, <laughs> I guess. Maybe. Yeah, I, sh- I honestly think I should be stay at home. No, he's <laughs> Stay at home. I already am. He wants me to I'll be stay at home daddy. Dude, be that. I do no. the laundry. I stay home every day. <laughs> <laughs> I fix you. things. Except there'll be days where you forget to do the laundry. Actually, I will say something. That well, she'll, she'll stop she never PJ. remembers. She never remembers. Who can? I will say that Nick has taken it upon himself to be the laundry man. He constantly. Otherwise, it doesn't get done. I mean, it would get done, but like I've Love just, it. I've just morphed into this person that doesn't. She, do it. Right. She manipulated me <laughs> and tricked me into doing these things. And he folds it too. Anyway, golf podcast. Here. Golf podcast. I gotta go with my picks because I know we have not. I made bad golf. picks They're already. They're completely irrelevant. It's one of those situations where you you place a bet and then immediately it just. You know no, it's I not still I still feel good, but they're like I, I picked I, Sam Burns. I think like they that, were good that picks. Sounds like a character from. Are you doing online games to make money? Have no, you? I just do FanDuel. So you don't do? Is that, you, bet. you do bet. Yeah, sometimes. So how, what's the most you've ever made? On a bet? Yeah. I think it's very interesting. I'm not like... Well, I want to pull... This wasn't through Fando, but I want to pull one time that was like 2300 What do you mean a pool? Like me and like other people that like, I knew joined the pool and you all put in like 20 bucks. Okay. And then whoever wins gets the money everybody put into the pool. So you won everything. I did. What'd you do with that money? What'd you get? What'd you say? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> fucking who knows? Just, I know, that is question what did you do with that money what, what you, did you buy did you splurge on like shoes or no, anything like wait, wait, wait. here's the better question were you dating carly at the time yeah, yeah this was like three months ago what yeah. did you buy her uh nothing carly <laughs> <Some let drinks>. me, <laughs> <laughs> does she know about this 23 yeah she knows she knew yeah okay but i'm at, like we're old now so like you get to that point does where it's mean? just like you put it in your bank and you're like nah. right, right like right, it's right. not even that big nah. yeah, right. what you, what you can get, get that wink how much did you get what did you, did you say it was twenty three hundred. Twenty three. Wait, it was like a like pool. A payday. Yeah. Um, mine was like. But that's the most s- I ever won. Two thirty at once. And did you get me something? Ooh, wow! I forget. Is that the rule? Like, if you win a bet, you buy your significant no, other something? No, no. She just—it's just an ex- expectation. I don't believe I feel you. Like well, an ex- a tiny expectation that you should totally do. But like, No, just and like really, one like, piece. You on dates, you split, it. So like, split it. And you're not like a flower guy. Right, no fl- I don't do flowers. Dude, let me get on that topic. Hell, I, I, why buy them if they're going to die in three days anyway? Because they're pretty. Because for three days? And they're $60 sometimes? No, you can make them last two weeks if you give it. Well, that's the thing. The flower food. That's the thing. Yeah, the, like get some. The other person in my relationship doesn't take care of them. Well, you could. <laughs> if you said. <laughs> so I don't have a it, green thumb. This is what I got here. This is what I got here for you guys. So the flowers just die after I buy them. They usually, they always do. You can't replant them. Once you cut them, well, this is my, that's, that's like what's the point then? It's GG's, bro. Wouldn't you rather have a candle? That would last a candle. while. Candle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll buy candles. Everybody loves a good candle. A forty dollar candle. Yeah. Forty dollar candle. I didn't know such expectations were even out there. Like forty dollar candle. Yes, please. <laughs> I can do that. That's a cool. That's a cool. I can do that. It's got to be a big ass candle then. Like or a, a smell like, a like three wickets. Oh, you got you got to be able to smell it from the upstairs. Oh I, yeah, yeah. I like t-shirt. I'll get on that. I'll get on that t-shirt. I'll buy myself a t-shirt. Yeah. All right. So this is who I got. Ready? <laughs> That's what you're gonna get for yourself a t-shirt. <laughs> hey babe, check out my new shirt. <laughs> I got. You I got something. this for you. <laughs> Want to take it off? It's a grave digger t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that sounds like sick. That. I like that like it does sound <laughs> sick. Well, Even just the word grave digger grave is digger. on a shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I'd buy yeah. that. Yeah. I really want to get it. A- you see someone wearing that in public, you'd be like. I ain't messing with that, dude. I need, yeah, seriously. I need more monster truck hats and shirts. These are all outfits you'd wear on like the Atlantic City boardwalk, what we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. a grave digger shirt. Yeah. Like, yep, that guy belongs here. A NASCAR here. hat. Do you know what's a good thing 
because I know you're going to talk about golf, and I'm just totally going to derail your golf. Okay, I'll put my phone down then. <laughs> um, but while the three of us are together, do you remember when in Atlantic City we saw that uh, wrestling event happen in the middle oh, yeah. of a parking lot in the middle of COVID? Like, Yo. Fucking COVID was running rampant. <laughs> and I still had a bachelor party. It was, it was lit. GTs. We just stumbled upon this outdoor Wrestling, wrestling federation, um, <laughs> I don't underground federation of the world. I don't know, but it was, it was amazing. It was supposed to be a drive-up event, so everybody was not in contact with each other. But everybody said, "Fuck that!" <laughs> everybody and just got it, out. There was like, <laughs> yeah, four hundred fifty people at the yeah. heaviest time. Of we have COVID. video of it. We'll <laughs> post most, video of the it. The most strict time of COVID. I'll lockdown, post a video of it. And there was five hundred people just like yeah. breaking. <laughs> Watching dudes break fluorescent light bulbs. Dude, each other they must have went through <laughs> fluorescent at least bulbs. fifteen sets of those fluorescent light bulbs. Fifteen oh. boxes, boxes, sets, oh. whatever. Dude. That goes by like the it nine probably... or like the fifteen. It got to the point where I was like, I want to go up there and then to do that to my back. Like yeah. I, I want to feel Check if it, it hurts. I had took a video of the carnage afterwards, like after it was over. I remember that. The and there was just, just the, the was ring was, was covered in glass, and you could see shards of glass with just blood on it. Yeah. It was like a horror movie. And then they had the tables. Just and we're all like, with, yes, more of this. Yeah, with barbed wire sitting on top of a just like fold-up table. And yeah. Just flip them onto we it. Didn't, we didn't, dude, a lot of people paid for that. We just walked up and then we watched it. Like, you we watched the deck. The deck was this shit. The deck. We, we watched the deck. it. Kind of lucky that thing didn't collapse because there was like 80 people on that deck. I think we watched it, <laughs> went, went and got dinner, and then came back and then re- and continued yeah. to just pick up where we stopped well, we, watching. We were walking by them and they were, they were yeah, sitting that's, up and that's we were why. like, hmm, maybe we'll check that out later. Yeah. Well, what's that going to be like? Three hours <laughs> later, we're like, yeah. <laughs> Dude's bleeding. <laughs> One guy had like a baseball bat with the tubes tied around. Yeah, yeah. I was just so there was like, so it was just like a. It was like, it was like, yeah, it was like twenty fluorescent light bulbs <laughs> tied around like a mop handle. Yeah, and the dude just smashed it over the dude's head. That's great. AC baby, AC. And it was like, yeah, that's the things you'll run into down saving, there. That was such a saving grace because like everything sucked, dude. The everything bars sucked. all closed at ten. Oh, they didn't even open. They weren't well, open. The, well, they were outside bars. Oh like, yeah, yeah, that weird like, block. And then like we went out, we went in. We got like, you know, changed our clothes after the outdoor, like up after the day. Right. And then we were like, all right, we're gonna go to that one bar, and then it's just like, right, right, right. Yeah, it was brutal, brutal times. But then we did, we we continued the wrestling. Times. You and I continued the wrestling in the hotel room. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And on to the day of your wedding. That's right. The night of. That was insane. Yeah. I, They'll have that video somewhere, too. Golf podcast. All right, this is who I got. My bets. Robert McIntyre. Mm. Mm. I thought <laughs> about it. Um, I, there was, it was a sleeper pick, and apparently that guy plays there all the time. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's a Scottish. Uh, I also picked uh, Mark Leishman. You love Mark Leishman. Big sexy. Big sexy. <laughs> Jake calls him big sexy. Mark, big sexy Leishman. Uh, and apparently he placed pretty high last time they played at Andrews, so I kind of went on that one a little bit. Okay, so you did some research. Maybe a little bit. Usually it doesn't ever benefit me. Yeah, I, I shot from the hip. I picked Tigala. He had a good day, I think. Top five. Okay. Heinrich Stenson top five. I don't remember picking that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the ones you just fired off. Yeah. Yeah, I had Willie Z, Sam Burns, who's not a real person. <laughs> and Is that then a uh, real per- Cat uh, Freeze. Freaking Kev Kisner. Kisner. Nick. So what are the uh, standings here? Leave Bowie alone. <laughs> uh Cameron Young is leading. Yeah, Cameron Young. Which no. means he won't win. Yeah, he was like, he was like, yeah, uh, I came to Scotland last week and uh, uh, I was feeling a little jet lagged. Yeah, and uh, today I felt a little bit better. He said uh, that, and hopefully I'll keep it going. It's just like, dude, that doesn't sound like you're gonna keep it going. No. Oh, he even brought up that he was jet lagged. Yeah, he brought up the fact that he was I'm jet lagged. So yeah. tired, or at least he so was hungover. He he was jet lagged, and now he's kind of catching up though. But he still doesn't sound like he can win a fucking. Open chain. Hell no. I'm really interested to see how your body reacts to being jet lagged because you've never 
flown. What happens when you're jet lag? No, like changing time zones, like crazy like that, flying to Scotland. Well, tell me, what is it like? Isn't I don't it, know it's, it's like. worse when you come back, isn't it? You're going to Scotland? We're going to Scotland? No, we're going to England, but it's literally like Scotland. The UK? The UK. And then we're going to Amsterdam, Amsterdam. which is in Germany. That's sick. Huh? You know She's talking about jet lag. You walked into a wall, and now you want to sleep, but you can't sleep? Because then they have to stay up, so like the next day, you're not Also, you're not going to be able to poop. I'll be fine. Mm. I'll be fine. You'll be backed up for days. I'll be fine. You just got to get home and have a rest day when you get home. I'll be fine. You got to get home and just go right to sleep, and then sleep for 10 hours. We're pretty good at that. Nice. There so you go. Cameron Young is going to do ass probably tomorrow. That's the thing. Like, I feel like in you this... You kind of look like him. Don't say that. <laughs> Cameron Young. No, just the beard. Just the beard looks like him. He's um, got a full-grown beard. Let's see what the what weather about this? is like going to be like. She, she eyebrows raised when she saw a picture of him. Yeah. She may agree. I guess a little bit. Maybe a little bit. A little resemblance. Maybe a little, little zem. bit. Maybe a little bit. Zembies. <laughs> little resembies. Little resembies, I see it. Um, what do you think about Cameron Smith, top five finish? He's 1,000%. He might be second place. He's in second. He is in second. Or he's in third. Something. We're going to put like 50 on that. Yeah, hell yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he's going to... He's I like love, one of those. I love... He said something awesome. Reckless gambling, Jake. <laughs> Jake, I just realized look, I had money in my car. I might take that bet. Oh, too. that's such a good feeling. I might take that bet, too. That's such a good feeling. Because he said, like, good. he was playing the course or whatever, and he's oh, like... Oh, should have waited. Did you place it yet? No. I might do it, dude. At 50? You know, but we got, just put in 50, Jake puts in 150, and we got, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. pay him someday. I got 100. <laughs> I got to do round numbers because I got 10440 in my uh, account. So I'm going to do 5440. Because honestly, Jeff, listen to this. Win 88. Hell yeah. The best bets are the ones you forget you placed. Listen to this. So I hope you forget you just did that until yeah. Sunday and you check and he yeah. is like in second place. He Top goes five. He goes. Yeah. He goes like. Oh, man. When Tiger, when Tiger won his. Rooting for you. When Thanks, Tiger man. won the Open. He's um, saying how like oh like he was everything's flight in the ball or whatever. But then when he started mm-hmm. winning, he was like you know keeping it low and rolling the ball. Mm-hmm. And then I think after he said that, everybody started playing low mm-hmm. shots. And then Cameron Young comes out and he's like, you know, like I keep trying to do the shots that everybody's saying you should do, like keep it low. But at the end of the day, like mm-hmm. you just hit the shot that you're most comfortable with. And he shot five under. Yeah, yeah, he was sick. No, he was eight under. He, he was sh- eight under, right? Oh, yeah, he shot like a 64 today. And so, like, to me, like, that's, that's like, eight under. That's like somebody who's trying to win. Yeah. Well, I think, like, they were doing it a lot because of the wind is a huge factor there because it's right. Like, Links golf, like, it's just wide open. Of course. And it's Scotland, so it's just really windy. And yeah, so they would just flight the low shot. So I guess he just, like, would figure out what club to hit and just hit it normally, but like have the wind work with him. Yeah, so if it, the wind's in his face, he's like, "All right, I got to club up a couple clubs, right?" Something like that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's cool. I think that's a, a cool way. Like that's that was like a cool perspective from somebody who's not trying to be Tiger. Yeah. If you look at this course though, like when you have free time, take a look at it. I have. I've gandered, but not, not too much. It looks like. Of course, we could literally play. Like what I mean is, like you can't. It's hard to, I think, lose your golf ball, right? You Unless to, it goes in like the like you just simply can't find it in the grass because it's too high. Mm-hmm. Not that like you hit it in a lake or something, but like there's no hazards, you know? Right. It's just wide open. Right. Yeah. There's it's no like trees. A field you're playing in the whole time. That is cool. It's amazing. And I heard today on the broadcast that if you live there. In Scotland, like where that course is, there's like seven other courses that are just there. Right. Like right next to mm-hmm. St. Andrews. It's a big field of courses. And for four hundred dollars a year, you can just play them. I would do that. Four hundred dollars a year. Hey, to play eight courses, one of them is move there. 
the old the Scotland coolest course in the world that they're playing right now on. Right. What? Yeah, you have to live there. <laughs> That's a downside. You got to live in in rural Scotland. I'll do it. It's in like stop me. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. We're moving to Scotland. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get farm animals. We'll play golf. Yeah, kill a bunch of chickens while you're there. <laughs> we'll raise them. Yeah, we'll use their eggs. So you but need then some scratch. We'll, you're going to probably kill them. Eventually, we'll need to Don't kill them. Don't get attached to them. Just you know, like, the piggies. They give you little piglets. I want a pig so bad. Well, yeah, you're going to want bacon, too, at some point. <laughs> yeah. You can start looking at that pig, man. He looks like delicious. Man. They give you pigs when you move there. You move in, and there's pigs and everything. It is your there. pig. It's part of the park. Just, <laughs> it's part of the, yeah. Take your pig and... Move in. We can just hire a guy to do all that. Like hire some sociopath. Yeah. Money's cheap over there too, so you can. You right. Can. Hello, I'll, I'll, I'll kill your pigs. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'd like to kill your pigs. <laughs> you could stay in this in this stable. I'll kill your pigs for five pounds. <laughs> Fine, you can stay in the stable. Don't knock on my door. Thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you eat beans every day. Eat <laughs> beans. <laughs> I wasn't mocking. I toast. sort of was mocking. In Scotland? I was sort of mocking. I know. I want to. What kind of food is in Scotland, though? Well, I guess. Irish potatoes. Oh, an Irish breakfast, yeah. <laughs> What's a Scottish breakfast? A Scotch egg. A Scotch egg. That's it. That's all we have. Hard boiled egg. Hard boiled egg. Glass of whiskey. That has. Yeah, that's good. The yolk around there? Oh. Meat, deep meat deep fried. That's it. That's all we can name from Scotland. Haggis, dude, you're gonna love it don't over there. Know don't even know what haggis is. You're gonna love it is there. Sheep intestines. intestines. Good. Sheep Good. In- We're back on intestines. <laughs> Can't wait for that. Can you imagine that? Red Bull full of intestine Clean juice. Out that shit. No, I don't want to eat any of that. Yeah, that's the downside of being a farmer. Is you got to do the deed. It's horrible. What deed? Cut the chickens' necks so they die. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then like clean the whole thing out. Hey, <laughs> do you think we have vegan <laughs> listeners? Yes. Well, we have vegetarian for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, and she, same. Go ahead. No, oh, well, it wasn't. Oh, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about. Um, you we are, can change like, topics in case anyone yeah, out there doesn't we like always, us. We go down a dark path. I don't know why we do that. Because probably we're twisted in the head. And that's why we do a podcast. Yeah. To. Here are, it's like kind of probably cult leaders. Yeah, I think there's some. What? You guys are kind of cult. We are we cultish. Be, I think it might be a little psychotic. Yeah, we want to like hear ourselves Imagine. talk, like <laughs> ramble about things that go on in our head. From yeah, try we're, to think we're of definitely things, uh, try to think the things that are funny. That would be mm-hmm. pretty funny if Chicken Stick ended up in like a big time murder suicide pack. Oh, that's the thing is. That, we're called the Chicken Stick like Show, giant, so we shouldn't oh talk about God. chickens getting uh, murdered. Like Not a, murdered, a but... giant death cult. Seriously, Killed dude. for our pleasure. Oh, my God. We are very pro-animal <laughs> pets, cats. Yeah. yeah. There's pets everywhere in here. Yeah, um, love pets. We love dogs. We have so many love dogs. Love pets, but, you know, you don't see a chicken running around here, do you? No, oh, it's no. in our belly. I actually almost bought chickens last summer. She <sighs> did. I talked her, I talked her out of it. Yeah, cause because you wouldn't think of them the same. It was a bad idea. I said we could have eggs all the time. It's a bad idea. Um, How's that work with the eggs? So in Norristown, you're allowed to have three chickens. <laughs> That's the limit here. <laughs> so you gotta build. You gotta have like a chicken wow. coop. Yeah. And then like you need to like you need to like help them. Yeah. Oh, cat, eggs. cat on the thing. There we go. Um, <laughs> he has to step on it. <laughs> I heard in Conchahawken you can get four chickens. Whoa, oh. we're moving to Conchi. <laughs> Fuck Scotland. You can get four chickens in Conchi. Can we get in yeah. I saw this amazing video of this uh of sheepdogs herding oh, yeah. this massive amount of I sheep saw that. into the yeah. And like it was just like a bear. She talks of this shit, dude. It was like a bear. It was like a bear grassland, mm-hmm. you know, and just just sheep and dog. Mm-hmm. And they were like, it was like, uh, what do you call it? like an hourglass? Yeah, the sand. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. You can be a shepherd over there. Oh my god, that's I would so be. Fun. I would be a dope shepherd. Hey, hey, get back here. 
None of that. <laughs> You'd be the shepherd's wench. <laughs> Damn, that's a tough, tough lot in life. The shepherd's wench. I'll tell you what, one of the best things over there, at least, I'm sure Ireland's very similar, but just go to pubs. Yeah. 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 I would start my own underground the pub, pub in the stable. Oh, yeah. I would, like, distill my own... Sheep milk. Sheep milk, alcohol Make thing. Make a beer out of it, yeah. Yeah. Ferment, ferment it ferment or whatever. the milk. Yeah. <laughs> good point about goat Jeez, milk. It gets you fucked up. <laughs> yeah. It's a good know. point about dairy she just made. Uh, it doesn't, it's not going to work. Fermented milk. <laughs> I have nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? Come on. Don't tell him. Uh, meet the parents. You got That's... it. Good job. That's a good one. Good job. Yeah, you can milk cats. Do you think <laughs> microphones and headphones should just be a thing we should all have in, in our daily lives? Like, I can talk like this and you guys can hear me over there. But if I was talking like this and we didn't have these headsets on, you wouldn't know what I was saying that much, right? Right. It is nice. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess that'd be kind of cool. I think we all sound better. Mm-hmm. Agreed. But the thing is, how would we... Because I say if I want to go take a shit... <laughs> just turn your mic off. Oh, you just turn my mic off. Duh. Yeah, you don't want to be in the thing. Just hear him like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot, there's a lot where they go. Oh, oh. fuck. You <laughs> 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 oh. just hear his phone playing in the background, <laughs> like loud ass music. Yeah. <laughs> He's laughing at some stupid video. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh. And the rest is, oh. Okay, all right. This is not a good episode. There's, we have vegans tuning out, and now we have all the women tuning out because they're picturing Nick shitting. Actually, that could be a turn on for some people. It might do. Thank God you're here. I might do numbers. Thank God you're here. Numbers? Because I was worried. Numbers. Did you put that bet in? Yeah. Yes. He did. For himself, though. Maybe. For himself? No, mean? but if he wins, we get some. If he loses, we don't owe him money. That's how it works. <laughs> Wait, how much did you put in? 150? No, I put him on Cameron Young or, or Smith. All right, well, I'm going to put yeah, Smith. I'm going to put Ooh, I'm gonna I thought you five. meant I thought you said Cameron Young and I almost laughed so <laughs> loud. Uh, no, that's a good pick. He'll be he'll that finish is a, fourth. That, that is like, a good pick. I like Cam. He'll make you sweat though, I guarantee you. Yeah. He'll be like on the fifth or fourth spot. Right. And then he'll be in fourth. I wonder who's a good who's a good like 5 buck bet for the win at all. Oh, somebody low. Go deep into it, but like a notable Can't name. To win? Right? To win? What can't they? To win it all? Can't lay? Uh, <sighs> fuck that guy. You yeah. guys see what's the, lead, what's the leaderboard at right now? Lowry. Uh, yeah, I guess you got to look at the leaderboard too. See if it's even possible for some Keyshan of these guys. Bo's six plus 6,000. This is what I wanted to... Me- this, uh, thank yeah. God, thank, thank God, God, God I remember you this. Thank God, thank God I remember this. Okay. What I can't wait for, and it might even be this Sunday. Mm-hmm. But a showdown between a PGA player oh, yeah. and a live golf player for the major championship. That'd be good. That'll be insane. Yeah, so they... Uh, that'd be good. Like DJ versus McElroy would be like gods clashing. Today they yeah. booed uh, Ian Poulter <laughs> on the first tee. Good. And as he walked up, and he first tee shot of the day, Hit like a 100 yard hook to the left. First tee shot, dude. He it was one of those situations where it's like, you know, when players get booed and they just shake it off and they're they're fine, like they're in the zone. He was yeah. shook. He got shook. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. He's on the one for of the, the traders. Saudi league. Oh, dude, I hate to do this, but I'm going Deschambeau for like five no. bucks to win it. Yeah, because he's he's not that far. Oh, uh, I love it. Wow, he's betting a live guy, trader. He okay. loves darkness. He, he likes evil. I'm low key. I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Hell, yeah, do it. I've watched live golf. A villain needs to win People sometimes. You know, golf, it makes the sport hmm? better when there's a villain, and he's their villain. Yeah. What do you do live golf? Is he a golfer? Uh, that's a good question. Would you do live podcasting? No, but would you do it if you if you had a chance to make more money? No. Um. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> I don't know if I would. Would I take a hundred million dollars? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know if I would. I guess I, I can't say I wouldn't. If you're 
I won't say I wouldn't. Would take you it. take a a bill, ten million dollars, <laughs> and someone walks in, and this is for anyone, and someone walks in. There's a button, and this is a movie, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You kill somebody? Oh, if you yeah. press the button, one person dies. And the guy just goes, <laughs> Yeah. The, 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 I think it's Tosh.0 does it where the guy's like, You will get $10 million if you press this button and something. And he just presses the right. button. <laughs> no, no, no the, guy, like, the guy doesn't even build it up yet, I don't think. Like, he, he doesn't even say the reward yet. He's like, like, he's like If you press this, someone will die. die. <laughs> and he's like, You don't even know what you get. And for he, that. Keeps, he keeps hitting it. <laughs> That's oh, great. Good stuff. No, I, I would. <laughs> so that's live, not as dark, live though. Golf is more like if you take, you know, one person button. in the world, <laughs> the whole world. You know? but, but what if it ended up being somebody in the Super Bowl that you like? Well, that would just be bad timing. That would Wait, be. Uh, can you repeat the question? Because I didn't even hear it. A weird coincidence. Well, I, didn't even hear it. I said, "What would happen if you press the button and it ended up ended up being somebody super important to you?" Oh, I wouldn't do it. But you already did it. But I already did it. I'd ask the person. Shit. I'd be like, "Is this? What are the odds? This is someone I know? They're gonna be like, dude, it's a whole world, man. It's not gonna seven billion to one." Yeah, I'd be like, "All right." Next thing you know, what if it was that guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, well, how am I supposed to get my money? <laughs> yeah, I feel like he has that information. Is like, there a receptionist anywhere? Like, yeah. Do like, you need my routing through? number, or how's this work? Like, go through his phone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! It looks like I killed him. How are people going to know this was the games? <laughs> um, hey, can you do uh, me a huge favor? I need another Gimli. This is good podcasting. I need another Gimli. I need another Gimli. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Please. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm all right. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Probably. Uh... Huh. If you have beer, I'll take a beer, but don't have, take. Uh, take it, yeah, take. No, don't. Take. I don't want someone else's take. beer. Take. Okay. Um, Shoot her. Live golf. I will say I, will, I watched them. I watch it. I watch. I watched it twice, both events. I You told me about that. It's I could th- one this- of those things that's so early that, like, maybe over time it becomes something that we're, like, Kind of tuned in on a little bit. I can tell you the team names. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't want to hear them. Team names. Bro- uh, uh, Brooks's team is called Smash. Huh. It's just Smash. Brooks Smash. High Flyers. That's Phil's team. Ironheads. That's Kevin Na. So stupid. Um. Oh, I'm already drawing a blank on a lot of them. There's Rocket or something. Oh, it sounds Rockets. like a fantasy Fireballs. football league, man. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. But I will say, like, mm-hmm. I will say that, like, I don't know. It does. It does kind of make golf cool. It's like if hip hop <laughs> started a league with the Saudis, right? It's like East Coast versus West Coast, right? Yeah, and Phil is uh, with- Tupac. <laughs> Yeah, he wears a do-rag Rory now. is Biggie. Rory is Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Are Rory's a live? No, Rory's PGA. Oh, so today, and they might do it all weekend, they weren't showing any of the live guys on TV. But, like, right. Bryson was, like, doing well. Like, they were having a probably good rounds. And they they showed Dustin Johnson a couple of times, but mm-hmm. that was it. Like, I Just didn't see highlights. Brooks Kepka at all. I didn't see Bryson at all. They didn't show Phil at all, too. Right. And that's just out of interview. spite. Just out of just this interview, they showed. I know, dude. It's there's some spite going on there with Phil, especially because they're like this guy. I think about it. He's they're like one of the him. best golfers of all time. Dragging him and through then the mud. He's doing what he's doing. They're yeah, they're gonna drag him. That's wild. It is crazy because everybody loved him, and now it's like he just kind of ruined his legacy. Is he gonna die soon? <laughs> by the Saudis, yeah. <laughs> you think he's gonna die dude, by the Saudis? They're gonna put him in a plane. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> Stop right there, sir. I'm not going to say anything else. But, but you think yeah. so? You think he might die soon? Not just like I could see Saudis. this being one of those crazy fucking stories that just you didn't see coming. Like, they just go down this dark road of, like, trusting these Saudis too much. Oh, wow. You guys got some good 
selections here. Yeah, we got IPAs. Are these yours? Yes. Are you these promise? are actually these ones you can absolutely drink because nobody's gonna drink them. Okay, I'll take that one. Thank you. Yes, you can take them home with you. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, it's gonna be like a movie. Like it's just like right no, now everything's be. friendly. They're getting paid. Then all of a sudden they're at like these big parties and there's a little bit of oh my cocoa god. going on oh my god. in some dark rooms and maybe some like fornicating of some kind. They're like, hey, let me take your wife. Yeah, meet the princess of whatever from Saudi Arabia. And we'll take your wife yeah. here. And then, yeah, we'll yeah take your children and wife, but it's cool because we're giving you all this money. Like it's just going to go down a dark road, I feel like. Yeah. And then live off. Uh, How, okay, you know so what I mean, like, and some twist ending. Over where under, some, a couple people get murdered. Over under <laughs> ten years. That's the thing. I think it'll take five to ten years for this to go down that dark path, where like some murder starts happening. Murder. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good. It, it'd be like maybe like yeah, the first five years. It's what like, if they it's just like did to, uh, a civil war between mm-hmm. both, and that wouldn't be a civil war, but like. A war. Maybe that's what's... Both yeah, dude, what if that, like, is a part of World War Three getting started? <laughs> it's like a whole world war, but then, like, just this very small subset of Liv versus PGA. Yeah, yeah that's a big part of it. We gotta hash this out. They're part of the allies, the, the PGA, <laughs> and then when they win, like, a tournament, we're like, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, there's, like, an actual war going yeah, on the, in, like... the other side. Oh, that would be in like Western Europe, and we're just focused on... <laughs> Oh, so many movies, so many documentaries. Documentaries. Yeah, there's probably some guy who probably already started a documentary. I think about that, especially with COVID. I mean, people were like, oh, "I'm gonna make a documentary about this," and then we're not gonna see that documentary for like five years. But it's gonna be like lit, pretty lit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I'm talking like in the trenches in Wuhan type documentary. Like, Whoa, this guys! I'm gonna. So die with COVID if I have to. Is, was it already published for like five years and then was discovered five years later? I'm saying later? they're like in the editing process right now as we uh, speak, you know? You know what would be kind of cool? If like there was this movie that just th- like went viral as fuck, but it didn't have like any views for the first like 10 years. Like what if that's the new viral sensation is something that's like has yet to be discovered, you know? Mm-hmm. Or yeah. maybe I'm just like, maybe it means nothing. Maybe I'm just... Making nonsense. The hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> Maybe it's just a nonsensical thing to say. It's, it'd be basically or just to, like, to think. I was like, yeah, nobody really watched Hot Rod. <laughs> Not Hot Rod. <laughs> and then everybody's just like watching it like crazy. Like, this fucking Not Hot Rod, like, like something you never heard of. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a good example. I'll Google this movie right now. It's called Baraka. And I know what you're, gonna, I know what you're thinking right now. Barack Obama? <laughs> well, I was exactly. thinking Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. No, but there's this great dude. This is the most amazing documentary I've ever seen in my whole life. Mm-hmm. There's like this. Are the dogs outside? That's funny. There's like this ancient. Like there's these like these like people. They're like hunter gatherer type people. Oh, this is the one with the people doing. And the, they're oh. like they're doing this dance, and they're yeah, like sitting down, and they're like, it looks like they're moving like a wave. Mm-hmm. It's called and there's no there's no talking. They say like that, that there's if this if like we were to show are these it, real people. Yeah, it's where all are real, they? It, all over the world is the what the point is like the movie <laughs> is. Jesus. Okay. So it's all over the world showing all these different types of places, but there's this one scene where it's like this looks like something that's been going on for like a thousand years. But um, they said like if any if we were to show a movie to aliens if they came to this planet, it would be that movie. To throw off the aliens, like make them think no, we're not understand. developed enough. To... <laughs> no, it is. It is also modern. It's also going through modern day, mm-hmm. but also there's other parts of the world that are still doing shit like this type mm-hmm. stuff, type of movie. You should That's look insane. up uh, Sentinel Island. So yes, they they would probably be yes. It's an island, I think, off the coast of Africa. Right, bow and arrows, like to yeah, the like fuck they're, away. they're the most undeveloped place in the world like you're not allowed to go there it's illegal to go there and if you try to go there they'll kill you as soon as you land oh yeah well that one kid got <coughs> killed that guy, i don't know if he's going there but the minister the minister yeah paddled up in his canoe he's like hey guys <laughs> hey over here i'm here to do research <laughs> yeah with i want to tell arrow. you the good news. <coughs> yeah. just feathered him, dude. we have electricity <laughs> yeah tarred and feathered him um you just got drilled. they did not hear the good news Oh, they didn't even want to consider <laughs> yeah. the good news. 
<laughs> what was the language barrier? What, what was he expecting the language barrier to be? Like, me. It's like he. Yeah. They're speaking and the, an undocumented language. Yeah. Is, was I he can't. white too? Yeah. Yeah. So they probably saw him be like, what is that? I can't wait to go to Central Island. I can't wait to, Island. They had the scariest picture of the helicopter looking down <laughs> yeah. at the people, and the guy has a bow and arrow. Trying to <laughs> take down the helicopter with a bow and arrow. Just but the thing is... But the thing is, listen to this. Imagine trying to communicate with somebody with an undocumented language. Think about these people. It, you'd go nowhere. You wouldn't get anything like, done. Oh, I'm not getting anywhere with these people. <laughs> you wouldn't get anything done. Smoking a cigarette like... You'll yeah, never yeah. understand. I, I'd just be like, right you know what, this. buddy? Forget it. Just forget it. Forget, forget, it. It. forget it. They still Do wouldn't you. know what you're talking about. Do you? They wouldn't even know hand signals. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, right. shoot, shoot bone, bone arrow. Right in his the thing is about those people. people. They're just wearing like cloth. Just enough just to cover cloth. their yeah. genitals. Yeah. It's waving in the I, wind. I'm wearing jeans and like a long it's sleeve like a little, tee. Little coconut. I have like a Phillies hat on. Coconut cod piece. Yeah. That's unbelievable how much... Think about like that how they still it's crazy think that about exists. think about exactly. how they like look at like outside like, people. They don't even know we're talking about them right now. Yeah, no. they have like they see like planes flying overhead. They're like, oh, these people. They get in these birds and they fly yeah. and across. Wouldn't they be curious to be like, let's go maybe figure that out? Or they're just like, they just don't they don't know what it is. I don't like. I think they know what, what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's just a part of their mythology that they create. I well, guess. it's like they they couldn't they couldn't perceive. Did you see that? In Podcasting. <laughs> Did you yeah, see? I know. <laughs> no, they're actually big listeners of our show. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> we have a 50% listeners in the laughing. Sentinel Island. Yeah. So it says on Anchor. They really get us. <laughs> they listen. They love yeah. golf. They actually didn't know about golf until we started talking about it. Do you see? Right. I don't know what their games are like. What games do they create? Right. Yeah. Good question. Did you see the new uh, uh, space picture that dropped? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I saw it. Yeah. You know, the grass ties. I was Dasman. like, oh my god! Oh, yeah, he was. He was like, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's a guest on our podcast. He's a well, guest. yeah, we're trying to get like a random celeb on here, and we started with him. He's too. He's too. I feel like he might be too big. Yeah, maybe we should try. I'm done, I'm done with that guy. Maybe try some. Yeah, he's like a shill, isn't he? C level actors or something. I don't like. You did call him a shill last time. Shrill. shrill. Is it shrill or shill? Oh, yeah. shill. Either works. Shill would mean like you're. I guess selling products. He's sell a sellout. shrill. A shill of a company. Is he a shrill? Oh, shrill. He's a shill. Shill. I got it right the first time. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm done with his ass too. Well, the he's pe- not invited on this podcast nah, anymore. Well, what if he accepts? No. He might. Dude, come tell, on. Tell him to send. His if he was sitting there right now, right now, wouldn't you ask him some? Fa- I would say, why don't you think aliens? Ex- I would say, why don't you think aliens exist? I would ask him about a sexual assault allegation. <laughs> okay. It's I, didn't, I didn't know about that. Amount. Does he have sexual assault? Yeah, they were kind of funny ones. They weren't like really funny bad. ones. They weren't really bad, but it was just like. Is sexual assault it's funny to like you? Pretty... Wait a second. Is sexual assault <laughs> funny? When to it involves you? Neil deGrasse Tyson. When okay. it involves Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay. And just like, literally, it's just him being so Maybe. awkward that it's assault. Like, that's how he became. Yeah, the per- he was just talking about space, and the person thought he was being. Assaulted by him. Yeah. Yeah, he starts off by talking about planets. Well, that's what he did. He and like, black holes. He did like Black a th- holes. <laughs> oh, my God. He did like a thing where he was like... That's scary. He, I don't know. I guess he like kind of Why don't you take maneuvered his- a girl's shirt because she had like planets, solar system on her shirt. Oh. So she like, he like looked down her shirt. like to like, She was asking oh, for it. He's like, is Pluto there or something like that? And then he did wow. like some other weird... She was thing. asking for it. Like, oh, I just want to... Like, he definitely dropped some like science terms in his pickup <laughs> lines for sure. Ugh. Yeah. Did you all know that you we're must all be, stardust? Yeah, you must be gravity because you're pulling me down. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take a trip to Uranus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't actually because it's a gaseous planet. <laughs> actually, I don't even know if it is. Again. Is that the moon or a crater in your ass? <laughs> Uh, Neil, buddy, we're not going to bring you out anymore. You say some weird things. Yeah, he's not a fighter anymore. <laughs> but so the space, is that, is that a moon? new space <laughs> picture, <laughs> uh, multiple, multiple galaxies. Yeah, what's that all about? I don't You're going to tell me there's no goddamn zombies? 
Zombies. Zombies. Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> Aliens. Wrong, tell me wrong no, podcast, bro. Save that for your Walking Dead <laughs> review podcast. There ain't no one undead <laughs> army on one of these damn planets. I don't want any out. damn zombies jumping off one of those <laughs> jumbo trons onto the planet and killing my wife. Jumbo well, maybe she can. Maybe they can kill my wife, but <laughs> not me. Uh, not both of us. The goddamn zombies yeah, from all those Pluto ga- are all here. All those galaxies and no, da- no damn aliens? How are you going to tell me? There are. Dude. How are you going to tell me? How did those galaxies form is my question. I start there. So Why is that started- there with a big bang? <laughs> yeah. So it all started in this one little... But how did that get there, Nick? And then all of a sudden, it just went bang. How did that happen, though? How did it get there? I hate that. Where did it come from? It just happened. How? It just did. Who did it? It just did it. Where does it all begin? It started from a bang. That's all I want to know. (laughs) God. I'll tell you. God. Good answer. God is what happened. Good answer. We are a God podcast. (laughs) We believe in God. I believe in the well, God. We don't. We don't judge any of our listeners who have particular religions. We just. We yeah. just. Uh, we're cool with Jesus. That's it. I believe in the Anunnaki <laughs> and and Leel and Enki. Yeah. As the sons of Anu. Mm-hmm. Should we start a religion? Maybe. See how many yeah, people I we can get. I think we brought that up before. I think we should start a religion. Yeah. Okay. Golf religion. A golf uh, and Tiger Woods is our god. Yes. Okay. And Jack is our the heavenly he's father. Or should it be old he's Tom bit, Morris? Yeah, he's he's definitely a saint. I don't know. I don't want to repeat stuff. I always repeat stuff on this on this show. Are we at an hour? Oh, hour one minute. I thought hour it was an minute. hour and twenty eight minutes. Jake, so uh tell us about your shows. Tell us what they're all about. Maybe we can get it out there, get people to go. It's up to him if he wants uh yeah. tell us about the show. Anything on blast. It's Saturday. This Saturday, Armour Music Hall. What's the date? Because this might not go out until like tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, or good maybe, chance like, uh, maybe next week, <laughs> maybe a week and a half. Yeah, you're not putting you this guys out tomorrow. It. Maybe not. I don't Aren't know. you we'll driving say. to the Finger Lakes tomorrow? Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. This dude's going to the Finger Lakes. Ooh, the Ooh. Finger Lakes. Do you want to know how the Finger Lakes were created? Hmm. During the the last ice age, there was a wall of ice that covered like that part of North America. And then when meteors came in crashing into the ice, it created massive amounts of meltwater and it was like spraying, like imagine like a hose and dirt. Psh, creates little canyons. Mm-hmm. Those are the finger lakes from the water coming out of the ice wall mm-hmm. from I the s- meteor. I sincerely hope there's not another ice age while we're alive. Not while we're alive. I our kids are screwed. Maybe, nah, maybe our kids' kids. I don't know. You ever hear when they talk about how the ice, the, the polar magnet, like the magnet polar field, it might like reverse. Reverses, like what does that entail? I've I've heard people saying, it and they're like, "Ooh, like you know." We'll all just like. Fuck. Is that the ice age? <laughs> does that cause the ice? Wait, age? what do you mean? What if what what happens? Like the, we're turning like this, and all of a sudden we're like this. Oh well, no, it's not that. I mean, it's no, it's, it's that. It's about the, it's something with <laughs> the magnetic aspect of it. It's not like the planet just takes a fucking like <laughs> does a fucking just decides dough. to spin the other Whoa. way. <laughs> But no, it's something about the magnet. We would probably just like all go up to the ceiling right now or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. They say if the earth just stopped spinning for like a second, you'd just like fly it like. Yeah, like, that's what I meant, actually. Now. Like we would just fly up to the ceiling and, or into the windows. Oh my God. That'd be hilarious. It'd be good if we recorded podcast, it while it was right? happening. <laughs> middle of a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of humanity. Yeah, but then we still post it somehow and people still listen to it. <laughs> I wonder how many people would survive that. I guess nobody, right? Unless you were like maybe in the desert and you got lucky. Just bounce off the dunes. Dunes into like some oasis. In the just desert? Like... Well, what happens? Is it, it stops for just one second and then goes back to spinning normally? Hopefully. Okay. So we don't know. We don't know. Okay. The, the only plan is to hope for the best when that happens. But yeah, it will, if the, it will happen, it will happen. I think if the ice caps <laughs> melt, though, oh, it's happening. The, like New Jersey will just go underwater, and then we just have our own beach, right? Oh, yes, dude. that'd be sick. That'd be sick. We could take that sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, what? Get rid of Fail. New Jersey. Sorry, Jersey. <laughs> Sorry, Jersey. Everyone's like, it's fine. 
All right, so shows. Uh, you got some. Uh, yeah, this is actually he's one of our special guests. Yes, he is a rock star. It's even cooler he he comes on like every few episodes. Yeah, yeah. you know For when there's like a major. Yeah, something mysterious about him. Yeah, and for those a- at home, I'll describe what he looks like. He is six foot five, <laughs> African American, <laughs> no body hair, no body hair, and no and. Has an chiseled eight, jaw. Has an eight pack. Damn, that sounds butt hot. chin. True, true. Mm-hmm. No hair. You got a little butt chin. No, you got a little dimp on his chin. Got a little dimp. It's butt enough. But it looks like a butt. Light dimped. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a dimped chin with a chiseled jaw. What if you have that in your chin? Shit. <laughs> you shit out <laughs> your shit. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to shit your lower body has to shit but you're yeah head. what if the, that would save your, water though because like toilets would just be like your this head's... big yeah they would be like on the wall like you'd see me go high. into your bathroom and just like put my head yeah just like uh, chin high toilet shitting hey yeah I'm shitting I'm taking a shit like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out in a minute I'm just taking a shit yeah this is why this podcast isn't going <laughs> anywhere <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think you should cut out the first part of this completely. Really? No, like remember we started and then we stopped. You think we should cut that first part? I don't feel like it was funny. I feel like we were trying and then oh, we, I'll listen we, to we it. got good. I'll listen to it. I'll be the judge of that. We recorded it. Okay. You made I'll be the judge of what did you think of the video? I put it on what did you think of the video? I didn't watch it yet. <laughs> If there's nothing really... There's nothing to watch, right? I wanted Is to make, there a funny part where I'm handing you that beer, though? I wanted to make a clip of that, but I couldn't screen record my own fucking video. So I have to, like, make a separate Send video. Send it to me. I could probably screen record it. Uh, I could probably make a separate clip, but it's okay. Speaking of which, I'm going to do a lot of that uh, over these next three weeks. Just, like, make up little, like, you know, little clips, little snippets of, like, best of season... <laughs> Season one. season one. We're doing seasons. I love it. Yeah. It's best of season one. Pilot season. <laughs> Pilot season. We haven't been picked up by anyone yet. That is good. It's a good idea. We'll get picked up. Snag little pieces of yeah. good spots. Little yeah, good like sp- it's uh one, like when you watch like Seinfeld and they do the best of Seinfeld and they just do clips from all the yeah. good episodes. Clip shows. I and, hate those episodes though. Oh, they're terrible. Yeah, but they're really bad. It's such a cop out. It is a cop out. They did which it in is, the office which too. Is like, that's why everybody hated the Seinfeld finale because it was like they they got arrested. Show, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Clip well, and they show. brought back all of. Uh, they brought back all the oh, people. Yeah. But I feel like they did they. I think they used like a clip show, didn't they? Mm-hmm. I can't remember it. Like it was just like it was like oh Babu's well, coming think- up here, and then it shows like scenes of Babu. Babu. Yeah, Larry David wasn't involved in the uh, end of Seinfeld. Really good for him. Yeah, he quit before. Uh, really, honestly, probably before season six or something. How many seasons? Oh, I didn't even nine, know that. Nine seasons. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, he got out. Shout out, Larry David. And Baby then he, he his show season. is like even almost as funny or funnier never, than Curb. I've never. Seen I mean, it. than Seinfeld. Yeah, I've never I mean, seen it. It's unbelievably it's great. Silly, how, it's silly of me to have never seen it. So it's much. just on because so it's on HBO. It makes it so much funnier because they just maybe we should watch that. Rip them. Yeah. Curb your enthusiasm. I haven't watched it beginning and I've just watched sporadic different episodes and it's just so funny. I won't watch it. He's so good. Yes. He's one of the best writers ever. And George is based off of him, right? Oh, yeah. He's based off of Larry David? Yeah. Which so is great. Larry like, David in, is George. So in Curb, yeah. obviously Larry David's playing himself and he's like talking to Jason Alexander who played George. <laughs> and like... George, he's crazy. He's such a crazy character, George. I know. He's talking to Larry. He's like, he's like, you know, I can't find any work anymore because everybody wants to see, you know, the idiot, the schmuck. And then Larry David's like getting offended. He's like, oh, I don't think George was a schmuck. I mean, you know, I think he was a, you know. <laughs> and he's like, what? He's like going off all these things. Like he is. He's a terrible person. Oh yeah, he's a nightmare. Oh my god. But yeah, Larry David was that guy. I think like back in the Human Fund. Yeah. We should get sponsored. We we are this podcast is sponsored by the Human Fund. A fund for humans. Donate to the Human Fund. What do you do? Donate other humans to it? No, you just donate your money to the human to the 
just to the human fund. And then this it podcast gets is brought to you by human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm here to make a deposit. One human. <laughs> Do I just leave it out back? <laughs> <laughs> They're alive, right? You need them to be alive. Okay. I could kill them. Oh, no, I'll go. I'll go. Am I getting paid? For, when do I get paid? Yeah. Oh, we don't that's pay. A, that's a real crisis. I talked to Raul, I think. That's Six dollars. I filled out all the paperwork, all right? Can I just traffic this human? I could take this human anywhere. <laughs> oh, you guys are still on human trafficking? We're trying. We're filling some dead air over here, all right? Sorry, I'm just trying to make that bet on... Um, what's his face? Which face? His face. Jake's face. Snake's face. Snake's face? Cam Smith? Cam Smith, thank you. Where is his face at? There it is. Whoa. How much for... What was it? Plus what? To finish top five? What do you mean? The the odds. He was plus like 160-something. Oh. So he put 50 bucks on to win... Sorry, everybody. 125? No, this is good podcasting. No, it was like 50 to win 80. 88. Oh, I guess they went up. Really? What's he plus? Oh, shit. It's not up. Okay. Yeah, you can fuck around with it more if you want. It's all right. <laughs> I do like the clapping one. Oh. Did you know it was that button? No, I kind of guessed. I can, I, can co- I can code this. I can program this machine to... Play the music at the beginning. Now, uh, question. That's, yeah. Is this birds or is this a tape rewinding? <laughs> do you need to hear it again? What do you think, Nick? Sounds like insects of some sort. Yeah. yeah. And that's a creak in the back. It's a creak in the background. Now, what is that? Is that pixie dust or angel dust? Sounds like a harp. It's like a angel it's, dust. It's like a dream. Dust. It's like a generic dream sequence, like from Saved by the Bell, like when they go to like. Oh, I remember that. And then it's like a little pink outline. AC Slater's yeah. face in the middle, a little foggy. Yeah, and they go to like a flashback in the show. All right. Who well, was now you? we're gonna touch all of them. So let's just. Oh, we're saving that for the Halloween episode. That's okay. right. Yeah, Halloween episode. Oh, we got to use that a lot. We use that more often. We got to use that a lot. <laughs> Phil Mickelson. Are you big time? Like, you you are not happy with Phil at all, are you? No. Like, you really... No, like, you're... Dude's a traitor, man. He committed treason. So you're really <laughs> upset with him. He might have committed... Yeah. Light, even if he Off was with treason. his head. Would you watch him if he was at... A tournament? I'm always going to watch golf when it's on, but I'm not... Are you going to follow Phil in a pack gonna, or no? Gonna no. Say, no. I'm going to... Well, actually, if I'm at the tournament, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, hey, Phil. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. But, <laughs> do the whole opposite. We love, we love you, We Phil. love you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care about what they say about the live stuff. You're fine. That's what I'm saying, dude. There's a Don't lot Don't listen of, to the podcast because I kind of... There was fun. like over 100,000 people watching on YouTube live golf at one time. Is that a lot, though? Hundred thousand, yeah. For like, I yeah. feel like millions watch uh, PGA. Mm. Yeah, you might be right about that. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, that under K doesn't seem like two crazy numbers. Okay, good. But, well, good. Good. Good on them. Good on PGA. I'm pro PGA too, bro. Everyone, All the way. Saudi Arabia has had been. such a come up in life. <laughs> like Saudi Arabia since like the seventies, crazy come up. Crazy. Dubai oh, yeah. was a desert. Oh yeah, like they weren't doing. That's not even in Saudi Arabia, Arabia, is it? Maybe not. That's like the Ar- Emirates. Yeah, Arab whatever. But that's they're all connected. S- yeah, it's the um, same. Thing. It's all oil, Arabian oil. It's crazy. Like they just became turned deserts wealthy. into oasis with Lamborghini cop cars. <laughs> yeah, they they have the Burj Khalifa, Burj Khalifa, biggest building in the world. Yeah, no women. Do you know? All right, I'm going to get real nerdy. There's this sea that's, I think it's like the Caspian Sea that they border. Legendary Sea, yeah. Or not the the Black Sea. One of those seas is out there. It's a Red, legendary Red sea. sea. A biblical sea. But that's what separates Iran from Saudi Arabia and 
Um, what were we just talking about? Mesopotamia, the Emirates. Sumerians. Emirates. And then Iraq's on that border, Sumeria. too. So that's where all the oil is. So Sumeria but that's is. why everyone's like hates Iran, because Iran and all the other countries just fuck with each other. Mm-hmm. And like almost go to war or sometimes go to war. Over what? Oil? Oil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tons of oil. That's what uh, Persian Gulf. That's what it is. Persian Gulf. Oil is so hardcore hard stuff. War. Oil is so hardcore. Oh, yeah. That is the most... That and nuclear weapons are the most hardcore yeah. human things. Which is why, like, if there weren't nuclear weapons, like, if that didn't exist, I'd be... I wouldn't give a shit about what's going on over in right w- other parts of the world. Yeah, they can't touch me. But then I'm like also like picturing like Putin like being like I'm out of options, I'm about to die. Boop. Everyone goes down with me. He need I'm not going to say it. Say it. He needs to go down. Oh, don't. Dude, the KGB is going to pull Dude, up here and fucking with light me up. Shank you, man. I'm going to get shanked. He will never go down. Spread an anti Russian. They're going to rip your skin off piece well, by piece. His, he's <laughs> never going to go down, though, because, or at least that idea. Like, Dude, we need that. We need, we need Private Jackson within a, hundred, within a mile. He's apparently sick. He apparently has cancer. And the life expectancy out there is like awful. It's like 65 yeah. or something. But the problem is that his whole. His whole boys club is all like ex KGB, like he's installed yeah. all these people, so they're all kind of like of one mind. And well, yeah, he's gonna be the same. He's already got successors set up. Business as usual, you know. And then obviously, when you're in power for that long, obviously you're training people and getting people in the fold. And oh yeah, really hard to nuclear change war is what you're saying is inevitable. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I think it's just what do you got to do? Flash. What do you got to do? Flash. What? Right now, if we saw a flash? Flash, what do you do? You're supposed to do. You're supposed to get on your bike. No, so get the bike off the wall and then get underneath of it. I'm just going to go down to your basement. Nuclear. That's what I'm going to do. No, you get under your bike. I'm, I'm going to get eating. in your basement. I'm just going to start eating pizza. I'm going to start eating humans. Actually, I'd, I'd probably eat a slice, yeah. Just have a slice. I'll <laughs> I'll eat, I'll I'd eat grab slice. the pizza and then run downstairs. <laughs> I'd eat one last slice and then I would probably try to... Eat you both. How many people, like, when the nuclear holocaust I'll is I'll eat you guys before I eat dogs, just saying. And, like, <laughs> may, they, do you think our cell phones will stop working immediately? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, how many, like, idiots out there are, like, calling the police when, like, a nuclear bomb? <laughs> <laughs> we need to call the police. <laughs> this is unacceptable. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> call the cops. They'll come here. They'll take care of it. We'll turn the power back on and get rid of the nuclear waste. <sighs> yeah. I'm on one Contra Hawk and just got vaporized. <laughs> Can you res- Hawkins gone. Can you restore my neighborhood, please? <laughs> now? Because it's been vaporized by the Russians. They're now... They're now... I need my Wi-Fi turned back on. How many people call Verizon when a yeah. nuclear holocaust happens? There is a- um, What's going on? Can you turn the Wi-Fi back on, please? Why am I on my 5G when I'm at home? <laughs> I see a big mushroom cloud. Does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Why is it getting hotter and brighter? <laughs> Why is my skin falling off? My skin's peeling off. Can you come here and fix my Wi-Fi? Because I can't do... I can't work on 5G. <laughs> so would you rather be within the blast radius or like just suffer for like eight months? I want the bomb to land on my head. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I kind of want to know what it, I kind of want to know what it seems like after a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I would suffer for eight months. You'd want to suffer for eight months yeah. just to see it. It's like uh, we would do our best to survive, but yeah. I would like to see what post world would be like after. You know a who holocaust. is going to survive? Who? You? Switzerland. Switzerland. They won't be touched. They have like a magical barrier that they've casted a spell over their country. They have a geographic barrier of mountains. Magical spells. And they've already, they've built underground en- nuclear... Enchanted mountains with enchanted bunkers. They have bunkers there. They built them all the way back in the 50s in case that happens. And they're going to be the ones that survive. Good. Good on that. And they're going to procreate. Smart. That's smart. Yeah, while well, the rest of us explode. We're not, we're not going to be a part of that rebuilding group. No. They, the, it's almost like they selected the Swiss to be the ones to continue on. There's probably some, like, deep state-type 
um, people that deep state have already like what's the deep made state? a list of people that will survive. Like they have been chosen. They'll be the ones like put up in a plane or put up in a bunker in like Colorado or something. Right. They live. They'll pla- get to live. They They've li- already been chosen. They live places where they can easily access the cover. Yeah. While the rest right. of us are just toast. Toast. Toast my ghost. But whatever. At least we all go down together. Right. I mean, they're going to die eventually. Unless they have like connections to gods. Because that is a possibility. Mm-hmm. They could be contacting the gods and trying to achieve immortality. Definitely. That's what happened to uh, Samaria. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm big. Uh, yeah. Big time in that. I yeah. Know, I know all I know. about it. I know all about it. I know. Bowie, what is that cat doing in your lap? He wants to cuddle. <laughs> He's naked. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, guys, for coming out. Jake, Jeff. Snake, whatever your name is, thanks for coming out. Thank you. Jeff, thank you for bringing the equipment over. Oh, anytime. I'm probably going to podcast on my own. No, don't do that. No? Okay. Or do that. Yeah, start your own podcast. <laughs> no, I'm just going to be like, pretend do a I'm side like cast. To, I'm like the side cast. I'm going to pretend I'm talking to you. No, you're just John Lennon breaking up the Beatles right now. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I vow to never do a podcast without you. No, you can. I don't, I don't mind. No, I won't. I do want to do one outdoors, though. Yeah, we could set it up out there. I think that'd be cool. Uh, At night, wait. like by a fire. We have the uh, propane fire pit, bro. Like, do you have an extension cord? We there's a there's a electrical out right outside. Of course there is. Why did I even ask? But I gotta fix it because it keeps tripping. It's a whole electrical disaster. Well, you it better might get on that. Catch the house on fire. I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay, Jake. Any last words? Oh, right, tell us about your shows real quick because I, I we we kept getting off of that. <laughs> Ardmore on Saturday. I'm sorry, bro. Ardmore, Pennsylvania. Harrisburg. You're like Lindsey Buckingham Je- July in the 23rd. show. What up with that? Yeah. Um, wow, you got a lot of shows. July twenty third, twenty six. That's what we're going to Brooklyn Bowl. Brooklyn Bowl in Philadelphia, Philadelphia. not in Brooklyn. Uh, yeah, baby, it's the one to see. I'm gonna go mosh pit. You'll see me that I'll be the one mosh pitting. <laughs> no doubt. Drop kicking people. Like I want to do a double leg drop kick. You it's know. not mosh pit vibes, is it? Can't be. No. I actually stopped the mosh pit once. Yeah. I heard at a show. I heard. You told someone we're not doing that. Yeah, that was a. Yeah, and I didn't. So I don't. I, you know, it's just like it, you were knocking over my sister, and other people were getting knocked mm-hmm. over, and you were the only one doing it. It's just like, it was just like spazzing out. It's just literally spazzing. And then when there was a, a regulated, sanctioned mosh pit happening, I was like, "Bro, do it, bro." Yeah. Jake, now, tell the people at home where you're going to be tomorrow night. I'm going to Elton John at wow. Citizens Elton, Bank. get your tickets to Elton John. So long, Yellow Brick Road. It's going to be so long for Elton soon. So Get the tickets yesterday be because you're probably hearing it after the show. Yeah, get your tickets at this moment. Yeah, for our live I listeners, probably, get the tickets now. Yeah, you need them now. Bowie, While I'm get your this, tickets. We got a good deal. We had a guy selling tickets that uh, he had. You got a ticket so. guy? Yeah, I mean, you just had two two tickets, so. Let him know. Craigslist guy. Ask him if he ever wants to come on the podcast. We'd have him on. For sure. For sure. Dude, we should get a Craigslist. He would be actually pretty here. good. That's a good idea. We'll get a random guy off Looking of Craigslist. Looking for a podcast partner. Just yeah. Like, yeah, just like. Please, no murdering. Yeah, no murdering. Or touching. Or touching, just mm-hmm. talking. Can't pay you either. We won't pay you. Hi, hello. Hi, Bo, man. Oh, yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's going to try to like cuddle with you. It's okay. He's a naked cat. Meow. Meow. He's a sphinx cat. Oh, look at him. <laughs> That's my nipple. Yeah. He's like, I I'm wa- trying to receive you. He's like, nah, you're receive not cool, bro. Mother. Yeah, he literally just dapped me up. Yeah. All right. Um, that's all we got this week, folks. I hope you were entertained. I hope you learned something. I hope you laughed. I hope you cried. I hope that you go on and have a great weekend, a great life, uh, a great summer. Great uh, summer. I hope you enjoy the Open, everyone. Jake, I hope your bet wins. I hope your bet wins, Thank Nick. You. I hope my bet wins. And I hope, I hope his bet we loses. all survive because he duped me. this life and the next life. Yes. 
There were yes. <laughs> Next life, I captain. <laughs> Any parting words? I just want to say that um, life's been good. It's and life's been good to me so far. I'm being real sentimental about nothing. Sentinel Island. Sentinel Island. Good call. Sentinel Island. Yeah. Uh, a shout out to um, Vodka Gimlets, too. Vodka Gimlies. Yeah. You introduced me to a nice, sweet new drink. Yeah. Uh, I'll make you another one next time. All right. Because you only had one. Next time we'll have a few. I had two. Two. All right. Two gimmies. Well, if... (laughs) (laughs) Go play golf, and if you can't play golf, then go... Fuck off. All right.